So I've had an iPod for quite a while now. I bought it with an intention of making music on the go, in the park, or whatever, I'm a little bit bored, not necessarily showing up at, in my studio. And as the phone seems to be really valid option to make music on, sometimes it's just not so convenient as it's a bit small and sometimes you need to answer the call. So I opted in for an iPod. Now, one of the DAWs of my choice will be Ableton Note. which maybe it's not a full-blown DAW, but it's a really good option to, if you want to sketch some ideas, if you want to jam a little bit. And then of course you can transfer this project to your full Ableton Live and work on it from there. And yeah, of course, if you're into music production, you'll know that iPad speakers are not very good for making music on. That's why you definitely want to put in some headphones. Now, if you've been living under the rock like I have been, you might not know that Apple doesn't do any more headphone jack sockets in their iPads or iPhones. That kind of actually surprised me a little bit, but hey, no problem. You can use one of these, plug in your headphones and you're good to go. Sounds really good. But what if you'd like to connect some accessories like MIDI keyboards, audio interface, and of course, let's not forget the iPad needs charging once in a while. How can we do that having only one USB-C port? What's up everyone, Bizess here and welcome to my channel which is all about music production, sound design, Ableton Live and all things related. And today I'll be trying to turn my iPod into full blown music production studio. Let's see what can we connect and will it all work. Now in this video I'll be trying to connect all of these things you see on that table to the iPod and see if everything's working. We'll be testing stuff, so let's go. So yeah, you can use one of these adapters to connect your headphones and that works just perfect. You can also connect your favorite MIDI keyboard and just play a bit more conveniently than on the screen. Or a completely different type of keyboard. Whatever works, whatever suits for you, whatever you feel comfortable with. In order to connect some more accessories to your iPad, the first thing you can think about will be one of these adapters. This is really cheap to buy on Amazon, in which you can connect power, headphones, and another accessory with a USB. So whether that be MIDI keyboard or audio interface, everything should work. So now let's try to connect everything and uh, see if it's actually working. We can connect this little white interface. Let's plug in the headphones and see if they work. Now the second thing we'll be trying to connect will be our MIDI keyboard. This Akai MPD-218 seems to be the perfect choice. Let's try to play something and see if it works. And let's not forget to charge the battery once in a while so we can connect our power bank. Okay, seems to be charging, everything seems nice. And yeah, surprisingly everything works fine, so one cheap adapter from Amazon can get you sorted. It's actually quite small so you can take it wherever you go. Now let's continue with something more advanced. So if you want to get into a little bit more advanced side of the things and connect more accessories, including USB audio interface, you might need one of these adapters. You can buy it quite cheaply on Amazon for around 20 euros. The most important thing is it has at least the power delivery port, one USB-C and some USB-A ports. Now we'll be trying to connect quite a lot of things here, so I'll guide you through a process step by step. First things first, let's get some cables and connect our MIDI keyboard into the adapter. Now we can plug in the adapter straight to the iPad and we can test if it's working. It lights up, everything seems to be fine. And another cable will be used to connect our audio interface. It also lit up, seems to be working fine. And we also need the power because these accessories, they will drain your battery quite quickly. So let's plug in our power bank. Now the plus side of having audio interface is that you don't need to connect your headphones anymore to the iPad, you can just connect them to the audio interface. Simple as that. And of course the silver bigger interface can be used for other stuff as well, just connecting simple things like just your MIDI keyboard and headphones. And as you can see everything is working perfect. 
Now let's try to connect the guitar and record a guitar. In this case, I will be using GarageBand, which is a free DW. So we will be using our silver interface to connect everything. Of course, first things first, we'll need our audio interface. Let's plug it in. Now our guitar cable. Also, I'm using this device to record the sounds. Let's connect some power because the audio interface tends to be draining your battery quite fast. So if you set up everything properly and everything seems to be working fine, you can open GarageBand and head on to the Amp tab. Once you're there, click the guitar jack icon on the right hand side and we need to set up some things over there. So first things first, we need to hear the guitar, turn on the monitoring and then change the channel to number two in case of focus rights card at solo. Now let's test if everything's working fine. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's change some amps here. Yeah, everything's working perfect. What about the bass guitar? Will it actually work with the bass guitar? Let's switch to the bass and let's try it on. Perfect, different amp. Now this one. Now let's add some distortion. I think the fuzz pedal will be great. Super cool, everything works perfect. So yeah, seems like you can connect quite a lot and everything seems to be working just fine. So you're good to go. So if you only want to invest in one of these USB hubs, they're really good and you're good to go with making music with loads of accessories, whatever you can connect to your iPod. You can connect. Obviously one of the steps of making music or music production is recording live instruments like guitars or bass or any other instruments. And if you don't want to waste your time on really bad recordings, I've actually made a step-by-step -step guide on how to record your guitars and keep it on live. Watch this video next and see you guys in the next video. Cheers! Thank you.